Okay, today is February 1st, and I got a few scam emails, and I'm going to call the first one. This one um, came from a Gmail. They're, they clearly didn't try to hide everything. I'll, I'll list it up on the screen in a minute, but um, so I'm recording it on my laptop instead of my main computer. So apparently I purchased a MI Notebook Ultra using my PayPal account, and um, it cost me $888.03, and it actually went to my fraud um, business email, <laughs> which is pretty ironically funny. So let's see if they answer and what they end up saying. The number is 188-85816. Default attendance. Recorded. Hi, um, I, I can't hear you very well. Um, is your phone on okay? Um, let me turn my volume up. I got an email that I purchased a uh, notebook ultra um, through my PayPal account, but I don't recall that. Okay, Miss. Now you are connected with PayPal Fraud Prevention Department. My name is Harry Jones. So may I know what the exact notification which are you talking about? Um, it was from January thirty first, and the okay. transaction number is the pound sign M S Y dash U E I dash eight three nine, and the amount was eight. Uh, the amount was $888.03. Do not worry, Miss. I definitely have to you for cash on this transaction. And may I know where you get this notification or your text message or an email? It was in an email. And maybe that email I will check for you. What's the happening on there? Why you see that charge if you're not authorized? It's Julie, J U L I E, A Y D L O T T, at businessfraudprevention.org. J O L I J U L J U is an umbrella, L is in letter I E A Y D L O T T at business fraud prevention dot org. Okay, just give me a moment. Okay. probably put the business fraud prevention with fraud. Yeah. Okay, that one was a lame one. Let's try another one. Um, okay, my Facebook account is blocked. And I've been apparently looking at porn because I got a porn um, demand or they're going to share the videos of me watching porn. So incidentally enough, I never watch porn on that computer. Let me try this again, see if they... Default attendant. Recorded. Thanks for calling PayPal. My name is Ron. How can I help you? Hi, I just got disconnected. Sorry? I was just disconnected. I was trying to figure out why I was charged $888 for a notebook. Okay. And when you received that notification? I received it in an email. Okay, and first of all, can you please help me with your email address and which you received this notification? Well, I'm pretty sure the reason why the other guy hang up, hung up on me is because it takes a special kind of stupid to send this to a fraud examiner. 
So that's where you sent the email to. So you're scamming people, obviously, right? No, Miss. No, right now your call is connected with PayPal customer service. Really? Okay. Like, like, exactly. Okay. So why would PayPal be emailing me from a Gmail account? No, we didn't email you anything. My PDAT notification is coming from the seller end, from where the product has to be shipped. Okay. I'll send you any kind of email. Okay, and so if you're really PayPal, then um, tell me how I get this transaction reversed because I didn't order anything. Okay, I uh, first of all, I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience caused to you. But no worries, I'm on this side and I definitely help you out. So first of all, can you please help me with your email address in which you received this notification? The email address is J-U-L-I-E-A-Y-D-L-O-T-T at businessfraudprevention.org. Okay, so just allow me a quick one moment. Let me check your account details and I will be right back to you. Okay. Okay, okay miss? Yeah. Thanks for holding the line, Miss. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, sorry for the long hold here, and I appreciate that. So, Miss, as I can see here, there is a recent purchase which was done from your account here, and that purchase is being shipped to the Texas location. So, do you know anybody who lives in Texas who might have done this purchase apart from you? No, I don't know anybody who lives in Texas who would have done this purchase. And one more thing is, as I can see here, there is a red flag showing onto this account. So first of all, I want to ask, like, do you know the meaning of red flag? Or as I had to tell you? Uh, I think I can figure red flag. It's a warning, correct? Yeah, red flag is showing onto those accounts, which was directly linked with fraudulent activities, or those accounts facing some unwanted charges. Okay. Holders in those locations like Texas, New Jersey, California, and Mexico. Mexico, okay. So what do we do to have this reversed and not shipped? Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, as you can see here, um, this purchase will be stopped. But as you can see, apart from this transaction, there is three more purchases which is done in last month, which is already been shipped to California, New Jersey, and Mexico. Oh, there's three other uh, purchases on my account? Exactly. And I want to ask you one thing. Like, uh, do you receive any uh, notifications or any authorization from PayPal regarding the other purchases as well? No, I haven't received anything except for this one. Oh, how is that possible? Because as I can see here, Julie, right now, all of the positive confirmations are coming from your email address. And I believe that is your business email. Uh, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want to ask you one thing, uh, Julie. Like, by any chance, do you ever lost your identity or wallet anywhere in the last couple of months ago? No, I have not. Okay. So, Julie, first of all, let me have a word with the backend department here. Uh, let me verify your account details, and I will be right back to you. Okay, okay thank you. Okay? Okay. Julie, are you here? Okay. Hello, are you there, Julie? I'm here. Yeah, sorry for the long haul, Julie, and I appreciate that. So, Julie, as I verify all of the details and all of the PayPal account here, with this potential, I believe here that 
there are four more locations who are accessing your account right now. And these are coming from, from Texas, California, New Jersey, and Mexico. So do you know anybody who lives in those locations? No, I do know. Is there any chance you ever been visit there in the last couple of weeks or a month ago? No, I have not. No, I do not. Okay. Because what happened here right now, Siri? Because from these four locations, already 14 people are connected here who are accessing your PayPal account and your email address right now. Because in your PayPal account, I can see here all of the positive confirmations are coming from this business account here. And I am shocked here that you did not receive any other notifications here. Because as I can see here, uh, Julie, for making this purchase, which is coming from Texas for print, and for this amount, that money is not coming out of your debit or credit card. Apart from this, your PayPal credit line has been charged here for making this purchase. So are you aware about this credit loan, which is running under your name from PayPal? No, I do not have a credit loan from PayPal. Oh, that seems strange because as I can see, there is a running credit loan of $7,800. It's oh. running under your name and that's the source where money has been debited for this purchase, even for other three purchases as well. So let me do one thing. Let me verify other three purchases as well with you. If you recognize any of them, then let me know. Or if you did not authorize, then I will dispute against all of the transactions. You're going to have to dispute all of the transactions because there's none that I've done for a total of $7,800 and I haven't used my PayPal account in a long time. Okay, Julie, I totally believe that here um, because you sound too innocent to me and it's really hard for me as well if I'm at your place because I'm young, that for traveling around the place and then making the purchases, right? So I totally get that, but I have to verify all of the details on this recorded line, because if this is a case of identity theft, we have to share this information and this case about Social Security Administration and the U.S. Treasury as well. So The who? First of all, with U.S. Treasury and oh, US Social Treasury. Security Administration. Okay. Exactly that. So, uh, first of all, that purchase has come with the amount of $482.64. That purchase is made against the Nike Air Force shoe, which is coming from California location. Okay. Didn't do it. Don't have Nike shoes. Okay. And uh, there is a second purchase. It's come with the amount of $1,294.96. That purchase is come coming from New Jersey location for purchasing an Apple MacBook Pro. Didn't do that one either. Don't have an Apple MacBook, don't need one. Okay, and uh, there is a one more purchase. That purchase is made to a gambling merchant for purchasing a Bitcoin, Julie. And that purchase amount is, as I can say, it's a calculated amount for $1,499.99. That purchase is made against and Bitcoin purchase. Are you aware about this Bitcoin purchase? I don't use Bitcoin. Nope. Okay. And uh, do you like know anybody in your family or in your friends or neighborhood who might have gambling anything or might be dealing in cryptocurrency? Nope. I don't know anybody who would do that. And I don't have family that I could speak of. Oh, so okay. here, here's my question. Uh, you said the credit line is $7,800. And based upon the five charges that you told me just now, I'm looking at... Uh, right now, right now there is no charges is coming out of your debit or credit card, but it will be debited once the tenure is completed for this credit loan. As I can see, it's a tenure for uh, like uh, 60, 60 days left here for the deduction here. So right now, what we're going to do here, first of all, let me tell you about this credit loan. What is that? It's not a normal credit loan. It's a special feature from PayPal. It's a buy now, pay later option, Julie. So PayPal, uh, like customer can buy anything and pay later. And one more thing, we did not give this credit loan to each and every customer because in these days in USA, there are lots of scams going around. So this credit loan is only given to those customers who requested us from their registered email address. And as I can see here with this PayPal account, your business email was registered. And I can see all of the positive confirmations are also coming from your end. 
So may I know first of all, like which device you are using right now? Is it an Apple iPhone or an Android phone? I'm not on my um, cell phone right now. I'm on a landline phone. Okay, but uh, may I know which cell phone do you have? Is that an Apple iPhone or an Android phone? It's an because Apple. Because I see with this account already 14 devices are connected. That's the reason I'm asking. Okay, so I have an old Apple phone. Old Apple phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first of all, let me check one thing, Julie, that your Apple iPhone is getting compromised with these hackers or not. Because as they were able to make all of the positive confirmation from your email, so they will easy to access your account as well. So first of all, let me check if any hacker is accessing your account or not. And how we're going to check? You will be checking by your own. I will be helping you with this step. So first of all, go to your home screen and go to settings of your iPhone. Okay. And then scroll up a little. You will able to see an option for general. Okay. Okay. And once you hit the general option, then you have to scroll up to the bottom. You will able to see an option says legal and regulatory. Once you hit in legal and regulatory on the bottom, then underneath where it's written regulatory certification, you will be able to see the model number of your device and only your location, which is United States. And apart from United States, Julie, if you were able to see more locations there, then let me know. Might be those locations are also accessing your device. I don't understand why you need to um, mm -hmm. look and see who's accessing my Apple device. Um, I'm more concerned about getting those charges stopped and not having a credit um, loan uh -huh. with PayPal. I get that. I get that. That's the reason uh, we want to get like how the hacker get into your account. Because if we uh, cancel, like, first of all, it's really hard for PayPal for removing those charges right away because none of them is made from your location. Okay, can you do me a Look favor? There. Can you go online for me real quick? I can do for you. Okay, do uh, me. Just a long moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on Google. Uh, if you could go on Google for me, because I'm I'm kind of confused right now, and type in my name, Julie Aidlot, uh -huh. comma CFE. Uh, just give me a moment. It's Julie, what after that? A-Y-D-L-O-T-T. Mm -hmm. comma C F E C is in cat Frank um F is in Frank E is in everywhere and tell me the first thing you see that pops up uh Julie Adlet Pharmacy what after that Julie a lot C F E type it in on Google uh B F E C is in cat F is in Frank uh -huh. E is in every day uh-huh now search it. Now search it. Okay. What's the first thing you see that comes up on Google? I can see it, Julie. I live CFE fraud magazine. That would be the one. I'm a certified fraud examiner. I don't have a PayPal account with that name. And you really going to be that stupid? especially with trying to say that I purchased and have a loan and access my cell phone. I mean, really with the business fraud prevention email address, do you, are you, did you're not very bright, are you son? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I so really much. appreciate that. Thing. You did what? I really appreciate that. You appreciate it. What do you appreciate? The fact that you called a certified fraud examiner? No. That nope. uh, you have a lot of time to wasting on me. Oh, good. I'm glad I did. So hopefully you're not going to, you know, scam other people with this new. And I will be do one thing. I will be canceling your call. I will be pick another call. You all guys are morons. I will be scam other people. I'm a moron. Well, but thank you. You yes, too. You, you too. <laughs> your family must be really proud of you. Sorry. Your family must be really proud of you. Your integrity and honor. Yes, definitely. Definitely. How much do you make off of this call? So say I was your victim. How much would you have made off of this call?
Okay, goodbye, scammer. Once again, this was another long one. I'm glad I waited. They had me on hold forever. Plus the fact that the first time I called the guy hung up on me. And so it must have went through another guy. But you know, what an idiot. They're not very bright over there, are they? Well, thank you, Fraud Magazine, for putting me at top of the list.